here we are. In deepest, darkest rural France. It's early September. And the children have all returned back to their schools. And all but a few holiday makers have gone back home. The villages are all returning back to their old sleepy selves. This is Argentar, the skipper's local town. Look, there's Market Square on the left. The pharmacy. The bank. And the restaurant. Past Francoise's home, Le Petit Pain Perdu, the best shop in town in case you ever visit. Here we go. Over the bridge, the old bridge. Yes, there is a new bridge on the other side of town, in case you're wondering. That's the Dordogne River underneath us now. There's Lou's old pottery workshop on the left. Oh, and the boulangerie. They make the best bread this side of the river. through the other side of town because we don't need anything in Argentar today. We're driving to the other side of the dam which lies up river. There's your chateau of Graffi, up there on the hill. Here at last. Well, Skipper, you better put on his uniform now, I suppose. Nothing like a good uniform. Here she is, the Spontournoise Three. She's a traditional French gabar. They were very common on this part of Dordogne in the old days. This gabar carries passengers on tourist trips upriver. Skipper, he's filling in the logbook for today's voyage. He's got to keep it all above board and official like. Now it's time to get the boat ready before the passengers arrive. Safety first. After all, you never know what could happen. A man overboard, heaven forbid. Close all the vents. Make sure the benches are all clean. We've got a full boat today, not a seat to spare. Open the treasure chest. No, it's not treasure. It's the fuel tank. 
Now there's not much fuel in there. Better fill her up. Ahem. Ahem. Skipper? Uh, skipper? Better put that pipe out, don't you think? That's better. Twenty-five litres of the finest petrol. There won't be any issues of running out of fuel then. Let's just check the second treasure chest, eh? Everything ship shape here as well. No loose connections. Now skippers are breaking the bilge pumps. There's five pumps, two in the bow and three in the stern. They do a good job too. There, it's like magic. When Skipper's reflection's gone, you can be sure it's a dry old ship. The engine must be thoroughly checked before each departure, just to make sure nothing untoward is wrong with it. Lift the cover, check the oil, check for leaks, crack pipes and split holes. What condition is the propeller in? Is the cooler pump free of blockages? What about the steering linkages? It's a serious old business operating a passenger boat. Now it's time to start the engine. A little primer goes a long way. There, it started no problem. Skipper's just going to check if the throttle operates properly in forward and reverse.
Everything seems to be in order. River's height, no wind, and it looks like there's no chance of rain today either. Now where's that Bruno? Where is he? Sleeping again, I bet. Dreaming his life away. Better go and find him, Skipper. The passengers are waiting aboard. <laughs> 